Hey everyone, this is Mukesh of 20 once again from learn-automation.com. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about what is pre-request script in Postman. Okay, so now if you have seen my previous videos, we have already used this test, right? But what about this pre-request script? What does it mean? Because here also we are doing the scripting, right? Here also we are writing everything that we need JavaScript. Then what is the need of pre-request script and why do we need it? Okay. So if you see here, pre-request scripts are written in JavaScript and they are going to run before the request is sent. So the moment you click here, learn more about pre-request script, it will redirect you here. And now as the name says, it is going to execute before sending your request. So it's a small JavaScript code or it's a you know lengthy or complex JavaScript code that you want to write that will do some kind of processing and it will execute before sending your request and it will give you the data so now they have already given the sample usage you know example usage when you can use this pre-request script so it can be like uh, the first one which is very common that you want to run some set of requests from a collection and that you want to run them in a sequence before running this particular request or you want to capture some data from the previous request or from the pre-request that you want to consume it right so this is a very basic example and basic usage why we need pre-request script. So I will show you one example which will make everything clear. Okay. And this is what called the chaining part. Okay. So this chaining also I will show you in the next video is called postman chaining or postman, uh, you know, request or API chaining where one request will process some data. It will set into a variable. And another request will use the same value for the subsequent calls. Okay, so let me show you one interesting uh, PPT. Like this is what we are doing right now. Okay, so we are sending a request, we are getting a response, and finally we are executing our test script, which is nothing but your test here. Right? So this is what the flow is right now request, response, and the test script, which is nothing but your test. So when you make the changes or when you want to use pre-request script, it will be something like this. And this will be the order. First of all, pre-request script will execute. Then your request will get execute. Then you will get the response. And finally, you can execute your test script that you have right now. So the only change which you will see right now is this part. So before running request, this pre-request script will get execute and you will get the data. Okay. We also have one more use case that I will show you, but let's use this one first so that you will get a clear uh, picture about pre-request script. Now let me just uh, go back here yeah, in the pre-request body and I'm just making some you know, dummy calls or some basic sysout statement which is going to do some print statement that's all it is just going to print something on the console. So I'm just going to use one variable called name and I will say postman um, tutorials, some random variable I'm using. Okay. And I will be using this in console.log because I want to show you the order, how it runs. I will say tutorial details are plus this. I will just print and uh, maybe I can write one more thing called running pre request script from request okay and that's all I will not use this variable here it is just going to do some sys out here uh, well, let, we don't need this as well we will use in for some other example so I'm just saying running pre-request script from the request label. The why I'm writing request label because in the next example, I will show you the collection label. Collection label. Okay, now let me just uh, run this. This is the debugger which we have. This we already discussed in the previous video, how to use Postman console. If you're completely new to Postman console, you just need to click on this icon, okay, Postman console, and this Postman console will start. So now let me just send this. Okay, can you see this is the request that we are sending and before sending this request, it is actually making this call, which is nothing but pre-request script. 
so this makes everything clear that before executing your request it is going to execute pre-request script fine it can be a complex javascript code it can be calling some other api another runner it can be anything fine now if i want to run this particular thing or let's say i want to set some variable or some headers for each and every request let's say i want to make the same thing for this as well so if I make some changes here, it will be different for this particular request. If I want to run some pre-request script for this request, it will be different. So if I have 10 requests that I'm sending, and if I make this pre-request script for each and every request, it will be tedious task, right? I have to go to each and every request. I have to make the changes here. But let's say I have a set of you know requests that I want to make sure that all these request has to go through some set of pre-request script in that case i will go back to collection okay so this is the collection that we have right i will click on this collection edit and i will click on pre-request script now if you see this script will execute before sending each and every request in the collection okay so what i will do again i will write console dot log and I will write running pre request script from collection. Okay, so not only this pre request, you can also do so many things. You can also set the authorization from the collection level test and the variables as well. As of now, we are focusing on the pre request script. So when I update this collection, it means within this collection, whatever request I have for each and every request that pre-request script will be applicable okay so let me do one thing let me just clear it out fine let me run this collection and let's see how it goes so I will select in queue environment that's fine run my collection and it executed all right so now if I see here so this is coming which is running pre-request from postman this is saying running pre-request from a script first one then for the second one also it is saying running pre-request from postman and uh, this is the last one Okay, so we need to make a small change here, guys. Just one thing. Okay, let's clear it once again. I will show you what went wrong. It's not wrong, it is just we need to see the order. Okay, so now we have get, then we have post, then we have delete. And delete, just need to see after post. Did we give in any pre request script? Okay, yes. So you see guys, this is what we did in the previous videos. What I was mentioning that I want to run update user, update user does not exist. So if I just close it and if I just make a delete user. So just after executing this create user, it has to run. And now you will see, you will get three times pre request. Okay. So let me just go back run my collection once again fine since we have three requests so you can see one time it is coming here second time it is coming here and third time it is coming here it means before running each and every request it is going to execute the pre request script from the collection so executed this was your request then again it executed from collection level it executed your request okay then executed third a request and this is pre request script from collection so it is just i'm doing a sysout statement right now but you can do you know many things here like you can set the content type you can set the header you can set the cookies which is same for all the request just to make it little simpler just to make your concept clear i took the sysout or oh, sorry console.log but it can be anything depends on your requirement because concept is more important than the examples so i hope this is clear for everyone so the the one which you have seen in the last is is what we did right now 
So we have collection level pre-script, um, then we have pre-request, then we have request. Okay. And once this is done, it will go back to response. And if you have any collection level test, then yes, definitely collection level test will execute. And finally, your particular test script for that particular request will execute. Okay. So if you mention collection level pre-request script will be applicable for each and every script. In the same way, if you mention collection level test that will be executed for each and every, you know, response that you will receive. So very uh, good example for this can be you want to make sure that each and every request that you're, you know, sending, it should be 200 or 201 or it can be any other error code. So you can mention that same thing in the collection level. Uh, I hope this is clear now. So in case it is not clear, feel free to ask me in the comment section or you can mail me at my email which is mukeshotwani at the rate learn-automation.com. For more details, you can also check out my blog which is learn-automation.com. And if you like this video, please share with your friends, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.